So it's... I know what to listen to. I listened to any station that I could win stuff on. I was um, addicted to trying to win stuff on the radio, so I could actually type the um, number of the Edge and 4XO station in Dunedin. Um, I could type it faster than the speed dial could remember it. Um, and so I'd like try like five times to be call number nine um, and I won a Billy CD a Whitney Houston tape and a five tape um, and some tickets to a few gigs I think I gave them to my parents I was too young to go there that's how I got into music you can ever do at a live gig um, that I've seen in, um, around the country is to is to hear the vocal line um, but you never hear the actual lyrics behind them maybe maybe the odd lyric but it sounds like a mumble um, I'm really interested in trying to um, mix a gig so that uh, the lyric is in front and so you make sure you can hear the lyric and then you mix everything else um, below that and I just think it, that doesn't work for every band 
Um, not every band uh, cares so much about their lyrics. Um, some bands are just have such awesome melodies, and such awesome guitar sounds that you, you don't need to hear the lyrics. Um, for us, if you only hear um, the guitar sounds and the melody, it'll be okay. Um, but that's only half the music. Um, so it makes makes absolutely no sense to us to play gigs where you can't hear the lyrics. With skinny jeans, I just wanted to capture that moment, and I think I think lots of people in this decade have had that moment, and it's just where you're in a really romantic situation, and someone's trying to pull off your pants, and it's this hilarious, ungraceful thing because you're wearing skinny jeans. Um, and I just think that if you were going to make a movie that, um, that took the piss out of our generation, then that has to be 
There has to be a scene from it. There's somebody lying in bed being pulled upside down while the other one tries to get their jeans off. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, that's happened. <laughs> How's that for you, Daniel? Cool? Yeah. 